Hi everyone, Alex here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. Jamie Galliotto, Isabel, Sarah Kershaw, Jenny from The Block, Hannah Kincannon, Jortin Blims, Luna Gallimaster, May, Zeragis, Lucille Green Applesauce, Mary Lanners, Gabrielle Murphy, Art Stevens, M, Cassie Walne, Joshua No Relation to Sarah Baldwin, Milan Nigam, Mackenzie Massey, Tavin Kastner, Nathaniel Beck. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, go to www.patreon.com forward slash Rusty Quill and take a look at our rewards. Special thanks to Mimic325. May your admissions of guilt always go unrecorded. Rusty Quill presents Stella Firma. It was a room that he'd been in so many times before. The walls, the chairs, all stained with memory. Hello, Trexel. A clone sat there. A simple clone, a stupid clone. But a clone um, he was stuck with. Rude. And also, do you want to sit down? Maybe you're just standing on the door. He walks over to his chair, takes a seat, takes out a packet of cigarettes, realises he doesn't got... smoke, closes yep, them, okay. and puts them in the bin. Okay. Well, all the rooms are bin, so you just kind of threw them into a corner. He turns to his mandatory compatriot and speaks. David, how are you? If he is like this all shift, I may crush you both. Uh, confused. He is definitely more confused. Well, aren't we all confused in this crazy mixed up world? He turns to a viewing port and gazes out into the blackness of space, okay, there are considering no his There life. are no viewing ports He views a part of the wall he imagines a space viewing hole is, Let's and considers his life. Okay, and would you mind turning off your little, I don't know, theme tune? He turns off his background music. Right. He turns to his compatriot. Uh, so... All right, Trax, what, 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 is, what, what are you doing? You've walked in, you're narrating yourself, you've... What tried, case tried have we to got smoke. today, David? What's on the docket? What's on the desk? What's the DA getting up our backsides about today? Don't know who the DA is, but this is the quickest you've asked to actually get on with things. So, tell you what, let's get on with things. He reaches for the cigarettes in the bin, opens them, okay. realises again he doesn't smoke, and throws them away. Okay, again, that was a second packet of cigarettes, and you threw them into the same corner as the first packet of cigarettes. You may just need to push through this. Right. Um, so this case, fine, case, is from... Aren't all cases the same, really? When you get down to it, there's always a dame, or a dime, or a dome. Remember the case of the dome? That dome killed so many people. Okay. Initiating. This is from Kathbianinden. Pronoun Zizir. The department of the case person. Ah, a case. It's always a case. A yeah. case on a case. The case of the case, case closed. Every case open, okay. no. case revealed, case yeah. in point. Wait, no. Yeah, every time you've been in here, there has been a case or a brief or a complaint or something. It's the only way that we interact with each other, all right? So of course there's a case. He's getting het up. Yeah, I am. I am het. But he's also sitting. There's too many he's. You refer to everybody in the third person, occasionally you're going to get burnt. What? No. what? He let him continue. He continued. Okay. There is only one he in this room, and it is a catastrophe. Anyway, the department that Kathby and Inden is from is the Office of Redundancy and Explosion Management. I assume you know very little about managing explosions, eh, Trexel? An explosion managed and an explosion halved. And half an explosion still kill you dead. I should know. I've lost four partners that way. No, they've all been recycled because... you. Recycling is an explosion internally. An implosion, perhaps. But is it? No. Hmm. Anyway. Tactlessness detected. Security offended. So, their role is Planetside Relations Programmer. 
A stuffed shirt, a pencil neck, a pencil pusher, a pusher of pencils into the neck of someone you once loved, lying dead on the floor, blood pooling. You didn't mean to, you didn't want to, but now the DA, he's on your ass. Is that, is that what a relations programmer does? All relations are the same in the end. You try and relate, the relate turns to hurt, the hurt turns to hate. Now you're a relatator. Okay, now hang on Trexel, you're obviously, you're doing, this is, this is, I know this is usually you just do a thing. But this is like a really specific thing. Are he you just... puts a hat on and turns away. He doesn't want to talk about it. No, I don't want to talk about it either, but if you're going to do this for the entire shift, we're not going to get anything done. <laughs> they never understood his methods. A loose cannon, they called him. He didn't belong in the department, but he was the department. I am the department. Jack the Geisman is the greatest detective the world has ever seen. A detective? You're not. You're an expediter. We are expediters. We are in the expedition hole. <laughs> Did expediter? Perhaps. No, that's just a portmanteau of detective and expediter, but it doesn't make you one of them. You're just an expediter. You're not a detective. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? He puts on his hat. He doesn't want to talk about it. You're already wearing a hat. You are now wearing two hats. A third hat. Okay. He doesn't want to talk about it. Why? Oh. Hat on a hat on a hat detected. Security alerted. Trexel, we need to get this done, okay? So, I don't know, whatever thing you're doing where you're talking about yourself in the third person... You keep picking up cigarettes and then throwing them in the corner. You're wearing three hats now. Honestly, this isn't the weirdest shift I've had with you, so fine. Shall I just get on with the complaint, or am I going to have to call it a case to get you to engage? The clone had a point. The case was on. (sighs) The clone always has a point. Anyway, the complaint... The explosions during initial planet building have become increasingly more likely to grow exponentially. Probably some crossover between the redundancy systems and the explosion management systems. We have now accidentally destroyed 12 solar systems, which can't be good. All systems failures, including automated systems, are legally the fault of user error. So that's the problem, Mm. and um, we're going to have to use our expertise to solve this case. Systems in systems in systems. You know when they brought in the explosion management system, I said, (laughs) it's madness. You can't manage an explosion. Explosions are wild things. They they should be allowed to roam free, like me, around the city at night. But they brought it in. And then when that didn't work, they brought a system in to manage that. And when that didn't work, what do they do? Bring another system in. That's done, tootin. And now it's just systems all over. And when a system manages a system, and that system isn't systematic enough, there's a system clash. And now, we've got exponential explosions. I tried to tell the DA about it, and he said, It's not your department, Geistman! And I said, the world's my department. And everyone living in it. But how? How? Hang on a minute. Partner David. It's the DA Hartro. The DA is. What's the, the DA's, DA's what's the DA's name? Dartro Diltz. What an incredibly rich fiction you've built up. And this city is called Deloderma. Barely even trying. Okay, is everything just a D? Are you, are you Detective Dexel Deistman? No, I'm Trexel Geistman, but you're Clone David. Cl- Clone David? Partner. Pa- Confidant. Hated rival. What? Triangle. What? Okay, fine. We apparently now need to deal with a complaint about a very complex multi-level system which has been implemented by somebody with programmer in their job title And we are David Seven and Trexel Geisman. You know, the people we are and the people we pretend to be, maybe they're they're more of a shell, more of a defense mechanism than anything else. Maybe when things get hard and times get tough and people are moved into departments where they don't feel they belong and all of a sudden the power dynamics are shifted, shifted, shifted in unacceptable ways, then we retreat. We retreat into character. Stating facts is not the same as being profound. Okay, so that was just extremely self-reflexive and still we're not... And what are you doing, Trexel? <laughs> what the hell are we doing? Okay. What's anyone doing? Take cigarette out of pocket where secret cigarettes were hidden. Realises he still really smoke. doesn't still smoke. Still don't smoke. Throws them away. Yep. Okay, so you just... Yeah. So at the end of the day, <sighs> you've got a choice. Do you push against it? Do you let it grind everything to a halt? Or do you lean in? As a partner, as a friend. No, hang on a as minute. As a confidant. Ah, ah, one level up. One level up. This all happens to you. You are thinking, 
do I become a weird, annoying character, or do I just get on with my job and do a good job, eh? Do I rail against it, or just lean into it? Hey, Detective Trexel Geisman, which one are you gonna do? He puts on a fourth hat. Right, I- Maximum legal hat height exceeded. Security alerted. Fine. Detective Trexel Geisman. <laughs> yes? It's me, your faithful triangle! Ha! Great! Has the DA been on your ass? Yes, the DA is standing on my ass right now! Hey, Dartro Dilts! What should we be doing? Ah, uh, you should be getting on with the complaint! Ah, damn that DA Dartro Dilts! Her declarative declarations of disappointment are crushing me! Yeah. She's burning my bottom. There really is. I'm in a frying pan. I'm sitting in a frying pan like a little David sausage. And Dartro Dilts is like, mm, I'm going to cook you for breakfast if you don't do this case. So my bum is very hot right now, and we need to do this case, okay? So how so, are we going to get out of this particular jam? Partner what? clone triangle, David. Oh, well, as, as the partner, I really am only here to sort of provide a sort of narrative context around which the detective, you know, the protagonist of this story, Trexel Geisman, who detective is... Detective Trexel Geisman. Detective Trexel Attorney Geisman. of justice. What? No. Mm. Justice at law. Mm. Are you also... Private a... justificator. Detective Trexel Geisman, P.I.? Ha! In a way. I'm going to regret this. Trexel? Yes? You're a P.I. I am. What does P.I. stand for? Why would you do this? Predisposed to investigative justice. Okay. So, how are you going to investigate this case? I've forgotten the case. Right, do, do you want me to read it out again? Yes, please. Okay. So, Kathby Arninden, Planet Side Relations Programmer. The problem that they have is the explosions during initial planet building have become increasingly more likely to grow exponentially, right? So we've got a chain reaction of yeah. explosions. Yeah. Probably some crossover between the redundancy systems and the explosion management systems. So it looks like the redundancy systems are doing the opposite of what they should be doing. So That's how it of, seems. Instead of suppressing explosions, they are creating more. <laughs> okay. And, seems uh, logical. Yes, and, and they have now accidentally destroyed 12 solar systems, which can't be good. And do you know what? I agree. It's probably not good. Probably not good. Well, if my many, many years as an investigator has taught me anything, the obvious, the clear, the most reasonable point, it's never that! Redundancy systems, explosion management systems, all jargon and hoo-ha, mm -hmm. all thought up by the bean counters and the pencil neck pushes to confuse the working person like you and me. Right. You know what? Uh? When there's a problem, when there's a mystery, yeah. follow the money. Okay. Follow it all the way to the top. Qui bono? Who benefits? Right, so what you're saying is... We might have a problem here. You need to look for the most complicated thing and then follow the money. So by the principle of Trexel's razor, what is the problem? Detective Trexel Geisman, P.I. The problem? Yeah. The problem is corruption. Where? Who would benefit from the destruction of solar systems? Stella Firma? Surely not. That would cause problems. People don't want to buy planets if planets keep exploding. That's a terrible thing. Nobody wants to be exploded unless, unless... you have a very specific kink. All of their planets have been exploded, and then they need to buy more planets. <gasps> Supply and demand, insurance fraud, all these things, so many more options, each one more complicated and reasonable than last. This goes all the way to the top. It does. It wait, was... Wait, 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 wait. But that means the culprits are... The board. No! Oh, 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 baby, what are you doing, you idiot? Uh, uh, whatever it is, no. whatever's happening, it's not... Yeah. Oh, the board have never done no. anything wrong, no. everybody. No, not at all. Yeah, no. Okay. <sighs> It's not the board. It's not, it goes all the Those way. Those guns are so big. It goes all the way to a different top. Yes. It goes all the way to the top of Galactonium. What? No, it's not Bathin. Bathin would it's never do that. Bathin. No, never. Think about it. No, Bathin think about would never it. do that. Uh, come in. Uh, 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 calm uh, down, uh, David. Uh, think about it with uh, your tiny brain. Uh, Who would benefit more from the downfall of Stella Firma? Megatrons. <laughs> the Megatrons couldn't plan like this. The polar bears! The polar bears couldn't plan like this! A star marlin! The star marlins couldn't plan like this! 
the Goober Goppers of Ghibli Camp. You made that one up to trick me, but what? it's not them either. Oh, okay. It's Bathin. No, it's not Bathin. Galactoniums always look very jealously on Stella Firma. They have very minor terraforming technology, and they want more. No. But they can't get more no. if Stella Firma's the big dog. No, it's a proven fact that Bathin is lovely and very kind. And if you blow up 12 solar systems, you're going to kill a lot of people, which is the kind of thing that certain people with the initials T G P T T G P I might do, but not Bathin. Huh. Think about it, David. Uh -huh. There might be another way. Uh -huh. Galactonium, it's yeah. a feudal system. Uh -huh. Sure, Bathin's the lord, but them working under him? They're the lord too in the name of the lord. So perhaps somebody's trying to do a little good turn for old Bathin. Impress him like so many others want to impress him. So what you're... He may not even know. So what you're saying is that by solving this case, we'll be saving Bathin. We, let's not get too hasty because we can't save Bathin because Bathin isn't something that you would save. But we might be I able to... Saved for later like the snack he is. Yum. David, hmm? if it seems like your loyalty is more to Bathin than to Stella Firma, guess what's going to come out of the walls full of no, guns? No, 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 look, I can like Bathin. I can like Bathin more than certain individuals who are also in this room with me. But Stella who, Firma... Who are you talking about? Oh, I don't know, Trexel. Who could it be? Maybe it's a pile of cigarettes in the corner or your four hats. He picks up a handful of still-smoking cigarettes, puts them in a hat, puts them on his head and singes his wig. Okay. We're just going to... It's caught. It's caught. Uh -huh. No, you're... No, it's fine. No, you're... No, it's fine. Okay. Keep going. No, tre 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 Trexel. <laughs> Trexel. Ow. Get in the puddle. Oh. Get in the puddle. Oh. Oh. Get in the puddle. Oh. Oh. Get in the puddle. Oh. Get out. Get out. Okay. Uh. Perhaps that was an attempt on his life by the agents of Bathin. I... I... Okay. Could it be an attempt on his life by the agents of Bathin? No! No, it couldn't! No, I'm done playing with this! No, look! Trexel, what is going on? Why are you doing this? Why are you pretending you're some kind of detective in a fake city? And just... What? Stop it! You couldn't let me have this, could you, David? Let you have what? Something. I'm not good at this. You have loads. You have loads. You have your own office. You've got your name. You can go outside. You can go to the Astral Bar whenever you want. During shifts, apparently. You're basically immune from ramifications. And I'm stuck here in this horrible little trash hole being an expediter's assistant. And you're so sad about being an expediter. It is ash in my mouth, David. You think I... Want to spend time out there, really? Wandering around with people avoiding my eye? Saying, oh, hello there, person. They're like, oh, I don't want to talk to him because he's an idiot. A worthless idiot who can't even do his job. Fine. If I you could do my job, David, back Ca before you, I was the best. Oh, really? You were the best? I was the best. You were the best. Is that why you kept killing clones? The clones aren't important. Oh. Oh, snap. So now it comes out. Hmm? Hmm? No, no, I'm, I'm... Ever since no, Percy? Uh, ever since Percy, no. eh? Oh, clones are unimportant. That was un... No, I... Dave, okay, David, I, I'm... Because all you've done previously is heavily implied that, but it's good to hear you say it explicitly. Now we know where we stand. No, that was wrong. That was wrong, David. I got... I got... I got cross. The clones... The clones... The, the, the clones, they, ooh, they, mm, ah, they, mm, the, the clones, they, wah. They, the, they, 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 wah, they, hmm? they, wah, they, they, wah, they, they, ooh, ah, ah, e, ooh, of value. And I should not treat them so lightly, because they are still people. Wow. Both the barest minimum and the best you could hope for. And I'm trying to work on it, but it is difficult, David, because I had an anchor, and that anchor was my work, and now my work keeps changing, and now it's changed into something I just can't do very well. So I was just, you know, having a go at a different person. Maybe if I was a different person, maybe if I was the world's greatest detective, I'd have value. Maybe if I'm the world's greatest doctor, I'll have value. Maybe if I'm someone who can make a blind bit of difference. Okay, well, why don't you actually try? Because trying is difficult, and I don't want to do it. Two steps forward, one step back. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. Okay, yes, trying is difficult. It is. Board knows I know. So, so why, hard. Why don't we just try together, hey? Why don't we just engage with the problem, think about it, come up with some suggestions, write them down, and put them in that little tube. Should I take off these hats? You can keep the hat if you want. 
I'll keep two hats. As long as we don't mention the hats anymore. Put them on my head. So they can remain there. But I'm putting them at a rakish angle. Hats are better seen and not heard. It tracks. Right. So the problem that they have is that their redundancy systems or their explosion management systems are causing a cascade, which is causing more explosions, right? Right. Very similar to sort of a nuclear reaction, right? I suppose so. So, let's think about this. What do... Switch off one of the systems. Good idea detected. Everyone baffled. The systems are interacting badly and they cause an exponential problem, then you keep turning them off until it stops happening, and then you turn them back on one by one and isolate the problem, and there you go. Fine. Troubleshoot. Was, was, that, was, 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 was that it? Did I do it? Uh, yes. You did it. Ah. Well, that wasn't that hard. No. I don't need to personally grow at all. Uh, no, Secretly I, all the time, I was amazing no, at this. No, no, Huzzah! no, no, no. I am the king expedator. Oh. No problem can stand against my mighty brain. Fear me, issue, for I shall shoot your trouble dead and laugh as I dance on your troublesome corpse. Warning. Clone temperature rising to critical levels. Oh, oh David, David. Oh, David. Uh, David. David. Oh, uh, okay, David. Stop picking things. David, please. I try and I try and I just did it. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pop the pop the solution into the tube. Okay. taps. Back out of here. Okay, I'll see you. Next, I'll see you next time, David. Um, I'll be back in, uh, with you. Bye. Stella Firma is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill Limited and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. It was created by Tim Meredith and Ben Meredith and produced by Katie Seaton with executive producer Alexander J. Newell. In today's episode, Imogen was played by Imogen Harris. David Seven was played by Ben Meredith. Trexel Geistman was played by Tim Meredith. The episode was edited by Elizabeth Moffat. Maddie Sell and Alexander J. Newell, with music by Samuel D.F. Jones and artwork by Annika Khan. To subscribe, buy merchandise, or join our Discord server, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at the Rusty Quill, join our Reddit community on r slash rustyquill, visit us on Facebook, or email us via mail at rustyquill.com. May the board preserve and keep you.